The third one that I'm starting to see happen is the model eating the UI. So today, for example, a lot of the value in the GUI and the, the scaffolding that many of our Microsoft products or even any consumer products, enterprise products, mm. is because the user is sitting in front of these things. These are static pixels that have been drawn over, uh, over years. And you have these menus, you have this muscle memory and so on. What happens if, A, you can actually just chat and get your work done mm. and you don't even need to know where the menus are. Two, it can draw the menu for you. Right, the generative UI um, breakthroughs that are happening with the model. That's where I think the whole what is the interface between the user and the model changes. Mm -hmm. And so that's an area where, again, we've, we have like thousands of man years across the software industry, if not more, invested in these UIs. And what happens if the model leads to UI? Mm. Not if, when.